change. It is the mystery of the kingdom. I live with the mystery of the kingdom. Jesus said, and I will give you the keys of the kingdom. Hallelujah. I have the keys of the kingdom. I have the key for divine health. I have the key for prosperity. I have the key for peace. I have the key for all goodness and mercy. Mali kaye broso takaya bale leke broso tamaya kande kede leke broso toye brale kede lebo suta mande leke broso tele kede even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil for the Lord is with me 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 though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death Mali broso taya balekede, leke broso taya balande kede, leke broso taya, leke broso brasanda kaya, leke broso taya bagadu, rebaya, I am a carrier of life. I am a carrier of divinity. Brosuta kaye. Bali kamande kede, le poroso taya balakakaka, le brosuta kaye. The mystery of the kingdom. I am walking with the mystery of the kingdom. The mystery of the kingdom is alive in me. Oh, hallelujah. Brando ye bro seteke ye. Ra bra kaka ka. Ele bro sota ba ya. Ele ka ba ya ndekede. Ele ke de bro sata ya. Bra kinda kado. Ele bro sota ya. Ra ba ya kaka ka. Male bro soto ye ndekede. Ele poro bra sandekede. Ele ke bro sota ya male. Ele bra kaka ka ka ba ya. Bra kutole bra sandekede. Ele po sota la. Mali kaka ka. Ele bro sota ya. Mani brown dekede. My father, so shall it be. My father, so shall it be. My father, so shall it be. To every man, to every woman that have declared it, so shall it be. You walk above sickness. You walk above diseases. You walk above afflictions. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever that was meant to stop you will be a lifter for you. Whatever that was meant to be a challenge, it will be a testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are born as overcomers. Whatsoever that is born of God. Lift up your voice and say, I am glad I am born of God. I am born of God. I am born of God. I, born of God. I overcome him. The world of sickness, the world of diseases, the world of stagnation, the world of poverty. I am born of God. I overcome the elements of this world. I rise above them. I am seated with Christ Jesus. Far above. Far above. I am seated with Christ. Far above sickness. Far above diseases. Far above the infirmities, far above principalities, far above power, I am seated. Who say a man de kede? Libro koya man de kete lebrasa takaya. Rebo su takaya male keto lebrasa de kede. Libro brase te kete. Brasa takaya. Rekaya bale kete. Bro su tamaya kande. And so shall it be with you in Jesus mighty name. You are victorious in Jesus mighty name. And the Bible says, resist the devil. First, it says, submit yourself to God. Submit yourself to God. And resist the devil, and he will flee. With all the madness of the devil, he cannot disobey the word of God. Are you hearing me? With all the madness.
weakness of the devil. He cannot disobey the word of God. He says submit first. That is the key. The mystery of the kingdom is the power of your resistance is in your submission to the word of God. He says submit yourself to God. Then when you stand boldly and resist the devil, the Bible says he will surely flee. I don't know where you are under. I don't know if you are submitted to God. And whatsoever that's contending with your peace right now, you are about to resist it. You are about to rebuke the devil. You are about to, you are about to cast out that enemy. All you need to do is make an adjustment on your part and say, Lord, I come under your hiding place. I hide myself under your word. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high God shall abide under the shadow of the almighty God. And look at that situation. Look at that circumstances. This evening, rebuke it. Cast it away. Resist it. You will have the victory right now. This evening, you will have the miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. Make the adjustments as a Lord. I submit myself to your word. Lord, forgive my lawlessness. Lord, forgive my lawlessness. I submit yourself. I submit myself into your secret place. I hide myself, oh God, in your word. And I stand this evening boldly. Boldly, I resist every demonic entity walking against my destiny, walking against my peace, working against my health. I resist them in the name of Jesus Christ. Satan, I overcome you not by might, not by power, but by the spirit. I lift up the blood standard against you. I say, Satan, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let go of my finances. Let go of God's people. Let go of our families. Let go of our joy. Let go of our harvest. Satan, we we rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. We take back our destiny. We take back our inheritance. We take back our harvest. This hour, we take back our health in the name of Jesus Christ. Prosperity is our heritage. And we take back. We take back. We take back all that belongs to us. This evening, we take back. There is a restoration. There is a restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. declare that you have overcome. <laughs> declare that you are victorious. Victors talk differently. Victims talk differently. I don't know if there is a victor in the house this evening. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You know, Pilate said to Jesus, are you not answering me? Don't you know I have the power to set you free or to crucify you? Jesus looked at him as a comedian. <laughs> he said, you, you, even in the midst of my condition, you will have no power over me. You will have no power. We give up too quickly. We give up too quickly because of contrary situation, because of contrary adversity. And we give in, we give up, we yield. But Paul said we refuse to yield unto them. Even for an hour, he said we refuse to yield. And Jesus refused to yield. And Pilate said, don't you know, I have the power to set you free or to crucify you. Jesus looked at him, said you are a comedian. You will have no power over me except to be given to you from above. And Jesus said that for us. When Jesus spoke to Pilate, he was speaking to Pilate on my behalf. He was speaking to the powers that exist on earth on my behalf. And I want you to open your voice this evening and declare, 
Nothing shall have power over me. No circumstances, no situation, no economic adversity, no economic policy will have power, power over me. Paye ke to brosu tamande ke de. Nothing. 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 Go ahead and declare. Go ahead and declare. Go ahead. Go ahead and declare. Nothing shall by any means. Nothing shall by any means have power over me. As the Lord live it. As the Lord live it. Raise your hand. Now. 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 I release the word to you. I release the word to you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. I declare from today every power over your life, I break it. I break every power over your life. I break every power. Take power! I release you. Bring her up. I release you. Lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. I release you. I release you. I release you. From every stronghold, from every stronghold, from every stronghold, from every stronghold, get out, you wicked devil. Bring her up. Now, 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 I release you. I release you. I said I release you from their bondage. I let you go. I let you go. I release you. As the Lord live it. Masunda. Maye. Keto. Brakaya. Bakande. Lekebo. Sunda. Yeketo. Brakanda. Baye. Baya. Kakaka. Bring her up. Rebo. Sota. Yabra. Leketo. Lebaya. Gade. Umale boro sonda ya ele boya kaka katele boro sota ya male keke tele baya ele baya kaka tole boro sonda kaya male ele baya baya kaka tole boro sonda kaya male boro osi kaya bale keke te ele baya kaka tole baya male ele baya kaka tole boro sonda kaya male braso te keke le baya katala. Now, you devil, look at me now. Look at me. Now, I say you devil, release her from your captivity. I command you. I command you. In the name that is above every name. I command you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go. I say let her go. 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 <sighs> Look at me. Look at me. Get out. I said get out. Get out. Get out of her. Get out. Now fire. 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 Let go of her destiny. Let go of her destiny. Let go. Lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. Repeat this word after me. Listen to me. Repeat this word after me. Rachel, look at me. Say, Jesus. 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 Lord Jesus, release me from their stronghold today and restore my destiny in Christ according to the new creation. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, by your blood, by your blood, release me from their captivity. Restore my destiny. From this day, now take, 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 take.
Thank you, Jesus. Your day of visitation is today. Amen. Freedom. Freedom has come to you. Freedom has come to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We, have we have the victory. I have the victory. Have the victory. I, am a I am a winner. I cannot lose. I cannot lose. We, don't lose we don't lose in Christ. We are winners we are in Christ. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please take your seat. With the little time we have left, I want to talk about the certainty of you being born again. Being sure that you are truly born again. Not just by saying, not just by coming to church. The Bible said to us that a noble man and a teacher, a noble man and a teacher in Israel went to Jesus by night, John chapter 3, and said, Master, Master, we know that you are from God, for no one can do all these things except if God is with him. Jesus did not need a confirmation from him that he's from God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And so he said, we know. But that's a contradiction. If they know that he's from God, why are they persecuting him? Why are they trying to kill him? He says, we know. John chapter 3 from verse 1. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, he didn't say, I know. Is that what is in your Bible? He said, we know. Praise the Lord. We know that you are a teacher. Ah, come from God. For no one can do this signs that you do unless God is with him. Shout hallelujah. And so this man betrayed the rest of his group by confirming that they know the truth. But they chose to deny it. Amen. Many of us, we don't know the truth. And so we live in a lie. We live in a lie. When we say we are sick, we live in a lie. Because those in Zion should not say they are sick. Your feeling is not your state. Hello? Your feeling is not what? Your state. Your feeling is an indication that you need to fight. It's not that you are a loser. Praise the Lord. It is for that reason, Jesus said that whosoever that liveth and believeth in me shall not die. It doesn't matter how you feel. And here, this man said, we know, we know that you are a man. You are from God. Nobody can do these things. The mysteries of the kingdom is that it takes God to do the impossible with us. Praise the Lord. And this man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher. Come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. And verse 3, Jesus answered and said to him, Oh, thank you for telling me that I am from God. Finally, I have somebody. I have somebody from among you that confirmed that I am from God. Is that what is in your Bible? Jesus would have said, Oh, Thank God, I, find, I finally have a witness. I have, I have a witness. What did Jesus said? Jesus said and said to him, most assuredly, I said to you, I said to you, unless, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. How does this, I mean, this is confusing an old man. He came to affirm that you are from God and you are telling him now, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, how can a man be born when he is 
old. Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born and be born? I want to address what Nicodemus said. How can a man be born when he is old? Many of us are finding it difficult to accept new creation because of our age, because of our exposure, because of our level of knowledge and all that. We think that new birth, born again, we think it's a fable. And so we don't take time to ensure that truly we are born of God. We don't take time to ensure, meanwhile, this is the key of the kingdom. This is what gives you access to the kingdom. You can be in church without being born again. Yes. You can, you can pray in tongues without being born again. Because native doctors pray in tongues. Is it not true? And so, what are you talking about? You can preach the Bible without being born again. I have been to pastor's conference from West Africa, pastors in West Africa. And it was majorly pastor's conference. And at the end, at a point in time, Papa Omokpai said that God is leading him to make an altar call in pastor's conference. In pastor's conference. In pastor's conference. Praise the Lord. He said, God is saying, make another call for pastors to get born again. So don't laugh at Nicodemus. I have seen it. And by the time he made the altar call, many pastors, many pastors stood up to give their life to Jesus. No, are you hearing me? Church member does not make you born again. Born again must be a personal experience between you and Jesus. It must be a personal encounter because Nicodemus came alone. You leave the crowd. I said to you, no one will go to heaven in a crowd, in a multitude. Every man will have his own personal ticket. Are you hearing me? Even when you are traveling on earth, everybody carries their ticket. Is it not true? You may be husband and wife. They will still say, ticket, please. You are husband. You are wife. You are children. True or false? And that is on earth. That is on earth. The kingdom journey is more personal than anything you can imagine. No associate. No partner. And that is why, don't let somebody conduct take you to hell. Don't let somebody's lifestyle take you to hell. The Bible didn't say look at your husband, look at your wife, look at your pastor. He said looking unto Jesus. If you want to make heaven, look unto Jesus. Don't look at your church. If you want to make heaven, look. Behold the master. And then many pastors stood up. They were not born again. And the Lord said to so Dr. Mokba, he said, take them Take all of them into a room and get them born again and fill them with the Holy Ghost and now supervise their church for a period of time. In pastor's conference in this country, there were many. There were many. Being born again is not a joke. You can't be born again without a change. You can't. You can't be born again without a change. You can't be born again without your tongue changing. The Bible said in Acts chapter 2, they were filled with the Holy Ghost and they began to speak in tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Their tongue. The first thing that changed was their tongue. Jesus said, Jesus said, most assuredly I said to you, Unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. He cannot. Nicodemus said, Nicodemus said, ah, ah, how is it possible? How is it possible when a man is old? Many of us are getting too old to be born again. Getting too old to learn the Christian virtue. Getting too old to be corrected. Getting too old to change. Getting too old to be transformed. You said, I have been doing it this way. But it is the wrong way. It is the wrong way. 
it is the wrong way. And the wrong way will lead you to the wrong destination. The wrong way will lead you to where you don't want to be. Are you hearing me? The word of God takes us to the right place. Only the word of God. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father except by me. Only the power of God can break the power of the devil. Nothing else. Nothing else. Only the word of God can, can destabilize the word of men in your life. A man says you will not make it. God said, I am with you. Go ahead. A man said, I will show you. God said, I will reveal to you. Praise the Lord. A man said, over my dead body, God said, be ready to attend to his funeral. Because it will happen according to his word. Because you will make it over his dead body. You will make it. If God be for you, who? 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 Who can be? If God be for you, who? David said, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we make the mistake that when we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, that God is not with us. But David said, when I walk through the valley of the shadow, I will walk through it, for the Lord is with me. Are we not getting it? We're we not getting it. When you are born of God, you carry a glory. You carry a presence. You carry an image. When you get born again, you receive the spirit of Christ. What does the spirit of Christ do to you? He enables you. The spirit of God gives you enablement. Like we read from the devotional. The spirit of God gives you empowerment. What does that empowerment do? It's the empowerment for change in every dimension of your life. The mystery of the kingdom is that we don't struggle to change. The mystery of the kingdom is change is possible by the spirit. No, we don't need to struggle for change. The reason why many people struggle to change with their habits, with their character, it is because they have not yielded themselves to the spirit. Get yourself born again. Get yourself born again. Get yourself born again. Do you know that when God is with you, you cannot be unemployed? You know why? You can fire people in a company where you want to work and create room for yourself. No, it sounds too much for you. Did you hear what I said? You that's looking for a job will fire somebody working. We carry power. Praise the Lord. We carry power. Say, we carry power. We carry power. I was traveling one time, and that travel was for kingdom purpose. And KLM told me that everything is full. Their manager said, no space. He said, Pastor Fa, don't bother coming to a port. There is no space. Even we have people from business class that is on standby, so don't bother. I said to him, I said, I will be on that flight. He said, I am telling you, just don't. I said, I will remove somebody. Praise the Lord. I said, I will remove somebody and create space for myself because I am on kingdom assignment. And when I got to the airport, I saw how rowdy the place was. I said, Lord, whoever that needs to be uprooted from that plane, Lord, I uproot him in Jesus' mighty name. I will make it. I will make it. And I stood there by faith. And they announced that the plane is full, that everybody should go, that there's nothing they could. Even those with business class and all that, bah, 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 everybody should go. I refuse to go. I refuse to go because I have made a decree. Praise the Lord. But sometimes, sometimes, I like the violent faith I used to work with when I was not a pastor, to be honest. <laughs> to be honest. Now you are a pastor, you try to calm things down a little bit, man. I don't like it. Amen. Those days, just as a Christian, just ordinary Christian, you, are, you don't care. You don't care. You are violating your faith. When you are talking, you are talking as if, hey, you don't die. <laughs> and now you are a pastor. You are packaged. Praise the Lord. You have to wear suit, wear fine clothes, wear those things, and you become fine also in talking. Those days, jeans, t-shirts, canvas, you are rugged. 
you are rugged. When we were going out night those days, who talk about wearing fine clothes for go all night? You wear jeans and t-shirt because any devil will come at any time. This, this point, this point, digital race, digital media, digital generation, you come to all night looking with your makeup, with your, with your attachment, and when the anointing begins to fly, instead of you to be receiving the water, you are holding your hands. May God forgive this generation. Praise the Lord. Instead of you to jump into the water when the water is, is stirred up, jump! You want me now? You, 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 you wore the wrong clothes. Praise the Lord. We used to wear jeans and track suits to come for all night. It's not a night of beauty. It's a night of war. When we are praying like this in all night, hey, hey, Pastor you know what I'm talking about. All night is a terrib terrible night for the devil. Not this one, you come, you, you ate a bar, you came for all night. <laughs> After praise and worship. <sighs> Don't worry, we are changing things here. We are changing things. Very soon, the leaders, I will start flogging you in prayer. Oh, very soon. And you know what? After, the man said, he said, Pastor, a man we checked him, we can't find him. They've already checked him. His luggage is in the plane. They can't find him. I said, I know. I said, I know. They said they have to bring out his luggage and put me in. I said, I know. I told you I will make it. He looked at me and shook his head. And I was in that flight. And I don't know where that man was detained. But my angel detained him somewhere at the airport. Praise the Lord. I was ministering in a service. I'm telling you that the power of new creation is so awesome. Just be sure. Get it properly done in your life. No, get yourself properly born again. Get the spirit into your spirit and begin to live the life of a new creation. It's a powerful life. It's a powerful life. You know, Jesus didn't come to raise losers. Otherwise, his death would have been in vain. We were already losers before he came. And when he came, he said, Behold, I have come that you may have life. And have it what? More abundantly. He said, I give you authority. I said, he said, I give you authority. I give you what? Authority. To trample upon serpent and sword. He said, nothing shall by any means. In Matthew 20, he said, all authority, all power in heaven and earth has been given to me. Where do you live? No, where do you live? Jesus said, all power. And now you are still talking like, like, like a wimp. But they've been whipped up. I was to have a meeting with a, a marketing manager, director, marketing director of a top company in Germany. And I was in church doing counseling. And he said to me, Mr. Fa, four o'clock, if you are not in the office, I'm going. I said, I will be there and you will wait for me. He said, I will not wait. Four o'clock, you are not here. I will go. I said, good. We've made a deal. I was in the work of the Lord. I have learned that from my fathers in the faith. I Bishop Bensnade Ahosa. He was ministering. They said that the flight will leave. He said the flight will not leave. And he said I will ground that flight. It happened in Nigeria. We learned from such men of faith. Praise the Lord. Pastor Benny Hinn said, I don't want to take a risk with you. I must be on that flight. He left the church and went to the plane and sat inside the plane. Time of departure plane didn't move. Are you hearing me? He was checking his time. I'd be sure best if that was a finished preaching. They took him in his convoy, drove him to the airport. He entered the plane. They said, you are grace, welcome. You are grace. And then the pilot said, ladies and gentlemen, the last VIP we've been waiting for has just boarded the flight. Shout hallelujah, somebody. 
Pastor Benihim said, when he sat down, he looked at him. He shook his head. Praise the Lord. We are the aliens on earth. Did you hear what I said? We are the what? Aliens on earth. We are invisible with C and invisible with S. That's what Jesus says. He said, the wind blew it nowhere. No, no one knows it. We move in the spirit. We move in the physical. We move in the dimensions of the realm of the spirit and the realm of the physical. And you know what? I continued my meeting in Germany. When I finished my meeting, it was 30 to 40 minutes late. I drove to the office. I said to my PA, drive me to that office. Drove me there. I pressed the bell. The man came and opened the door. He said, I didn't know why I didn't leave. I tried to leave. I couldn't leave. I said, I know why you didn't. He said, don't tell me. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I pin him down. You cannot leave. You cannot leave. And when I went out of that meeting, we spent another one and a half hour. And when he was opening the door for me to God, he was looking at me. He said, strange things. I said, yeah, we are the strange things on it. Praise the Lord. I told him, you cannot leave. I am on my father's business. And now you are supposed to wait for me. Why won't you wait? Why won't you wait? The Bible said that the name of Jesus Christ, every knee shall bow, including marketing directors. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Do you understand what I'm talking about? The mystery of the kingdom is that we are invisible and invisible. And Jesus said, no one can enter. No one can operate in the kingdom of God except you are born again. The reason why many people are not functioning where they're supposed to function is because truly their foundation has not been proven as born again. And so they are not yet, they are not yet pushed into the kingdom to function there. And so they walk around. They walk around. Because their new birth is still questionable. They are still part in the world. Part in the world. And so they don't have the keys of the kingdom to function in the kingdom. Because Jesus said that except you are born again, you cannot even enter. You cannot even assess the kingdom. And so all the goodness in the kingdom, you are shut out from it. Not because they are not available. Because you are not qualified. And so, to make sure you are truly born again is to your own benefit. Ensure that your status is correct as a born again Christian. And Nicodemus was asking, how? How can I get born again? And many of you, you are not smart enough to find out if you are truly born again. Do you know you can come out here? And then pray the prayer of salvation and not be truly born again because you just said it from your head, not from your heart. Because Jesus said to Nicodemus, that which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the spirit is the spirit. You can come out here, you can speak from your head and your spirit is separated and disconnected. And so you go back the same way and you don't receive the empowerment to live the life of the new creation. You don't leave it. You don't leave it. Because a lot of things come from your head. You know, people, I've seen people that say that they read through the Bible in a whole year. But the Bible does not go through them in a one day. Praise the Lord. I had a couple <clears throat> in Nigeria married to a German. And this, the wife that being a Nigerian, she, she, she reads the Bible a lot. Reads the Bible a lot. And one day, when they came for counseling, and the husband looked at her and said, and talking to me, he said, Pastor, she knows a lot of Bible. I don't know a lot. Tell her to live what she knows. That was an indictment. You know a lot of Bible. You quote a lot of Bible. How many do you live? And the man said, Pastor, I don't know too much Bible. But the few that I know, I live it. Tell my wife to live that which she knows. Not just to quote it. And many people are quotations in quote. But in spirit, they are void and empty. 
Do you know what life, new creation is? Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Paul, writing to us, say we put off the old man. When we get born again, we put off the old man. We put on the new man that is born in knowledge. In knowledge. The new man, the new creation is born in knowledge. That is why so many young people, they don't know the difference before and after, but they are born again. If you are born again and you don't know the difference before and after, get born again again. You talk the same way. You act the same way. You are born again. You can't be trusted with money. You lie like water. You lie like water. You are born again. You come to church. There is no difference. The only difference is that you come to church on, on Sundays. That's the only difference. But that's not enough to get you into the kingdom. Entrance into the kingdom is spiritual. Are you hearing me? Entrance. This is what Jesus said. Accept a man. Accept a man. If you are not born again, you cannot have access. Praise the Lord. He said, Jesus answered and said to him, most assuredly I said to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, how can a man be born again when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, most assuredly I said to you, unless one is born of water, talking about natural birth, and the spirit, talking about spiritual birth, he cannot enter the kingdom. He cannot accept. He's born again. He said, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. He said, do not mind what I said to you, you must be born again. The wind blows where it wishes. And you hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes. So is everyone who is born of the Spirit. We are like the wind. We are new man. Praise the Lord. We are what? New man. You can't trap us. You can't set a trap for us. You can't bind us. Do you understand? You can hear our effect when the wing is blowing you. You hear, boom, 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 boom. you hear the noises, but you can't see the wind, but you can feel the effect. Spiritual people, spiritual people, you see the effect of the change we bring. We bring change, we cause change, but you don't know the means by which we do it because we are new man, spirit, breath of God. We are new man, breath of God. And what is the key? You must be born again, Jesus said. If you are not born again, you are not allowed to function in the kingdom. You are not allowed to function in the kingdom. You are forbidden. You can't operate there. You can't. You may be in church. You may pray in tongues. You will still suffer what the people in the world suffers, except you are in the kingdom. Except you are born of the Spirit. Except you are born of the spirit. How can you be born again? Lying is still like a joke to you. You joke with lying. You say, I didn't mean it. I was lying. I was joking. You don't joke with lie when you get born again. How can you be born again when you sin? You are not convicted because when you are born again, your conscience is synchronized or aligned with the Holy Ghost. That used to be my prayer. I said, Lord, synchronize. And I taught you that prayer. Lord, align my spirit with your Holy Spirit so that when I miss it, I don't need to wait for somebody to rebuke me. I get inside the rebuke. I get an alert on the inside. I don't need to wait for you to confront me. You know what I will do? I will bow my knees because the spirit will alert me. It's called spiritual alignment. You align with not with the world. You align not with men, but you align with a superior, a superior, a purer spirit called the Holy Ghost. You are aligned with the spirit. You are aligned with the spirit. I have prayed that prayer over the years. I said, Lord, align my conscience with the Holy Ghost. Align my conscience with your spirit so that when I miss it, 
no, 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 no. I don't need to wait for you. And it works for me like a miracle. If I speak the way I shouldn't speak, I get an alert. I, if, if I, I can discuss to do something with you, and I will say to you, I will do it. When I go inside and keep quiet in meditation, the Spirit will say, don't go ahead with it. Praise the Lord. I was in a discussion with a man, I think, few, few, some days ago, and we were talking about getting some things done, and he said, he said, Pastor, I want to get you connected to this, connected to that, connected to that. And it sounded very good. He said, you will be amazed. The, men, the number of people you start meeting at that level and all that, and the things that will come to you. And, the, and, the, and then I said to him, okay, I said, I will, we will do it, we will do it. I said, let's, let, let's go ahead and do it. I actually told him, I said, okay, to, to, to get all the things done and all that, it costs some money. I said, I will, I will make the money available, no problem. I told him we will do it. When I came back, and the quietness of meditation, the Lord said, do you need it? The Lord asked me, do you need it? All these years, who has been connecting you? He said, do you need it? The Lord asked me, who has been taking you from one place to another place? I just said, Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me. I am sorry. I am sorry, Lord, forgive me. That connection would have given me a very powerful uniform in this country that if I'm working out, you can't touch, you can't do anything. And the Lord said, who has been keeping you? Why do you want to exchange your gold for brass? I didn't even call the man back to you today. That case died. Are you hearing me? I am already connected to the power source of the universe. Praise the Lord. I can be here and I make things happen in Germany. I can be here and make things happen in Canada. I can be here and make things happen in any part of Nigeria. Which uniform will do that? No, which uniform will do that? I said, Lord, I said, Lord, I'm sorry, forgive me. That was the end of it. Praise the Lord. I wouldn't use God's resources in vain. Amen. God is too much to belittle him. To belittle him. One time, some years ago, one time, we drove from here to east. Mommy is here, Ajawo. We drove. I was in the front of the car. There were so many military checkpoints. They were stopping a lot of Lagos vehicle and all that and all that. We drove from Lagos all the way to the village. We didn't come out of the car one time. When they stop, they will look. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. I carry my own atmosphere. Do you hear what I just said? I carry my own what? Atmosphere. I carry my own environment around me. I don't know what you are carrying. Praise the Lord. I've never walked into a place where they disrespected me because before I enter, the glory is ahead of me. The new creation brings back the glory into our life now. Amen. The new creation does bring back the glory. I was, I was telling mommy yesterday, I was even today, I said, look, look. She said, what? I said, look at the back. I said, this is before the fall of man, our side. I said, after the canal, it's after the fall of man. I said, you look at our side, beautiful greenery, wonderful, shout hallelujah. And then across the canal, you see all the shanties and all that. I said, that's the fall of man. Somebody shout hallelujah. It takes revelation to see things so rise on your feet. Shout hallelujah, somebody. And so every time I look at the back, I say, Oh, the fallen people, Lord, forgive me. Them. Lord, 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 forgive them. Lord, save them. Lord, help them. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And I look at our side and say, This is the original creation of Eden. 
This is where God's glory resides. This is where God's presence abides. Somebody shout hallelujah. You know, you know, you know, these things I'm talking like this, like I'm, so some of you are looking at me and say, where did what did pastor drink today? I didn't drink the same, it's the same water you drink, I drink. Amen. But the spirit, when the spirit comes and turns into you, Ezekiel said, he took me when the spirit came into me. He took me. He carried me. When the spirit carries you, who controls the steering? Who controls the steering when the spirit carries you? Find out. Lift up your hand. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I am going to be on a quest to ensure that I'm truly born again. Because I want to be sure that I am saved. I am saved. Born again. By the water. By the spirit. By the blood. Truly born again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit of God. Help my quest. From today. To ensure. The certainty. Of the new creation. In my life. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. And as you do that. The Lord will give you great revelations. Amen. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Let's bring out our tithe and our offering. Pastor Isaac, please pray for the tithe and the offering. Hallelujah. God is a good God. If you need an envelope. Welcome to the usher. So that you can package your offering. Amen. Rise up. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. our Father and our God, we thank you. Thank you Lord. We thank you for your word that has come to us once again today. Amen. This word will do wonders in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we also want to thank you for the offering that we have brought before you. This shall be for the service of your kingdom. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It shall be used to preach the gospel. Amen. And to win so for the kingdom. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. For every hand that is lifted up today. The hand will not go down. Amen. The hand will not bend. And the hand will not lack. Amen. Whatever is laid on to do it shall prosper. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. This offering is dedicated to the service of the Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now after that, Pastor Zip will take the announcement and share the grace. Praise the Lord. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. And you are blessed. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's be seated for just a minute or two. Praise the Lord. We thank God. This is Wednesday. Our midweek service is always from 5 o'clock to about 6.30. Always make it an appointment with the Lord. Praise the Lord. And from Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of the week, prayer goes on here. Both in the morning and in the evening. In the morning, it's 9 to 10. In the evening, it's 5 to 6. So if you are available, if you are around, just come to pray. There is power in prayer. And God still answers prayer. As you pray, God will answer your prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us not forget that this coming Sunday is our Super Sunday. Amen. Praise the Lord. Super Sunday. Praise the Lord. If you have testimony, appear to come and testify on that day. Amen. Get ready. Invite someone. And as you do that, God will bless you. Every Sunday and Wednesday, after the Lord has given us the spiritual food, the Lord also gives us physical food. Praise the Lord. We, that is what we call the Jesus Kitchen Project. Put your hands together for Jesus, for that project. That project has come to stay. Praise the Lord. So today, there is meal for every one of us. Once we share the grace now, don't be in a hurry to go. Be seated. The tables and the chairs are going to be arranged at the back. And you are going to be ushered to your seat. 
and you are going to be served your meal and your drink because we recognize you as a king and a queen, and then you deserve to be honored. Praise the Lord. Don't be in a hurry to go. Praise the Lord. Don't forget, Sunday is our super Sunday. Get ready. Invite someone. Praise the Lord. And also, every, every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we always go for evangelism. Maybe even if you are a new convert, come and learn how to win So Praise the Lord. You are going to be attached to somebody. We will not leave you to just go out alone, but you are going to go with in, another, in a group of people that can teach you how to win So Praise the Lord. It is very important for us that we win So Tomorrow, we are going for evangelism. Friday, we are going for evangelism. And also on Saturday, 5 p.m. in the evening. Join us. Be a soul winner. Praise the Lord. Shall we rise up? Shall we share the grace together? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy are following us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord! Please be seated. Amen.